Swing them hips like you're walking on the runway. Swing them hips like you're walking on the runway. Swing them hips like you're walking on the runway. Swing them hips like you're walking on the runway. Swing them hips like you're walking on the runway. Hi, I'm Chalka Starks, and welcome to my channel. We are going to jump right into this look because I'm so excited to show y'all how I finesse this. If you are not new here, you already know. Your girl has really fine hair and very thin edges, so the fact that I was able to finesse this and make it work for me, your girl's excited. To achieve this style, I am going to be doing individual knotless braids in the front using human hair. I'm going to do crochet individuals in the back. So I make sure that my parts are pre-parted in the front and then you're just going to see me get to work, y'all. I went to the beauty supply store and I found this giant pack of synthetic hair that was already sectioned. What? Yo, I was so hyped when I seen this. I thought it was going to save me so much time. Turns out, I still had to separate it a little bit, but it's all Here's good. Here's the hair I ended up using, y'all, and I wish I could recommend this, but honestly, this hair is not good quality. I made it work for me, but this hair sheds a ton. It was not 20 inches from top to end, and I wish I would have dyed this hair so it could have been jet black because this hair was like mixed with a bunch of different colors. Thankfully, the quality of the hair didn't ruin the style. It still came out gorgeous. Because my braids are so thin and my hair is really fine, the human hair pieces really makes this style look full and fluffy and beautiful. I started out by just putting some pieces of hair in front of me so it would be easy to grab when I needed to feed hair in. And then I just start braiding. I put the synthetic hair underneath my hair, leaving the piece of my hair in the middle. And I just start to take those two synthetic pieces and I braid inward. This gives the illusion that the knot is not there. So this isn't necessarily a knotless technique it's just that the knot is underneath so you cannot see it and this is just what works for me because my hair is so fine i do want to use the synthetic hair throughout the entire braid you'll see me feed in the human hair i just make sure it's flipped over and i just start braiding down what i got so far this one took <laughs> entirely too long for five braids but I'm trying to make them really like full because I want to cover, you know, how thin my hair is. And I'm not using a lot of synthetic hair because I don't want them to be heavy. But I want the human hair to have something to hold on to. And I've been using like a lot. One, two, three, four, five, six. Not really pressed about my parting. I'm just going to make it do what it do. Just parting where it makes sense, honestly. Like this ended up being like a triangle part. Using a little bit of this. I really don't want to braid up my edges. I want to leave them out. So I'm just putting the synthetic hair underneath my real hair making sure that my hair is in the middle and i'm braiding inward so this again is going to make sure that the knot is on the bottom and i'm trying my best not to grab like my little flyaway hairs that's why it i recommend using like a edge control or some type of gel or um jam just to make sure you know you're not grabbing hairs from all over the place i was struggling here i left that part in there just so you can see what not to do i ended up taking this thing out and starting all over because i didn't like how it was coming out take your time and do this it does take practice but it's definitely this is a mess. doable a complete mess when you are grabbing your human hair make sure that you're like twisting your product on the ends of that human hair so that it's like together and it's easy to braid down what was happening for me is like the hair was just fraying and it was really hard for me to grip it and braid so 
that's what I did here. I also used a piece that was a little bigger. I recommend doing that too because as you start braiding, the human hair is going to like shed a little bit. So grab pieces that you, you know, that are a little bigger than you think you should grab. I don't know. You kind of just have to feel it out. But you can see what I do the second time. It worked perfectly. Um, and now you just see me feeding this hair in again. You see that the ends are together. I put the product on the end of the human hair. I flipped it over and I'm just braiding it down right into that braid. It's really simple. It just takes practice. I don't know where all my like metal clips were, but it would have been so much easier if I had a clip to clip that hair out of the way after I do two pieces then I'm adding in a piece of synthetic hair and I add about three pieces of synthetic hair to each braid I just feel it out and just make sure that it's pretty even all the way down and you can add in as many human hair pieces as you want in the front, I definitely wanted to add more because I wanted to cover my edges and cover my parts. Um, another thing as I was doing this style, I realized the more hair you add, the less of the braids you see. So don't spend a lot of time trying to make your braids perfect because you're not gonna see them. I mean, if you put in a lot of hair, which is what I did, you could not really see the braid. I am trying to move the hair to the side and I'm putting it in my mouth which I do not recommend don't put the hair in your mouth get some clips don't be lazy like me I don't know where my clips were um but don't put your hair in the mouth in your <laughs> in your mouth it's not sanitary unless you you take the time to wash the bundles which is what I should have done but again I was just so excited to do this style but, you know, I'm just taking my time and braiding all the way down. I add about six pieces to each braid. That's what we call each wild farm. Also known as enthusiasm. Beautiful chocolate girl, I just want to come through and rock your world. If you give me the green light like Mary Jane or Roller, that's a lot of pearl. A whole lot of hip, whole lot of waist, whole lot of beauty all on your face. Can't you give me a moment to give out the glory because he gave you all the grace. I know you see me, you hear me. Conversations on fleet. These other niggas spit game, but press your buttons too weak. And it's sweet of them to try. No need for you to lie. Look, I'm killing these boys. I'm lord of the fly. Hey girl, you can get it. If you would give it to me You must be psychic The way your thoughts can begin to move me You got that real life glow As the world starts to slow You're like something amazing I seen once in the movie I really like your speech And I'm really digging your style Your frame is so petite And yet your hips are so wide You're like a work of art We got that spark when we smile So how's about we go ahead And give us a try You're so dope, so bad Girl, you fly, so girl, you like coke, take me high, so I don't want to come down, don't want to come down, don't want to detox from you, you're so dope, girl, you fly, girl, you like coke, take me high, so I don't want to come down, don't want to come down, don't want to detox from you, I want to get you naked, lay next to you. The way you're moving makes me weak I have to take you brand new places Baby, I'll change your view If you just let me know Baby, we can go As far as the Malaysian tracks in you do Because I'm lost in the way that you do what you do You know I gotta get closer, get you comfortable You see, I'm loving your flavor Give me your taste and I'll savor I wanna save ya Wow it's been a little minute, but I really wanted to make sure the front of my hair looks good. So this side is done. And this side is almost done. I just have this left. And that is one pack of the human hair. The braiding hair that I got comes in like this little thing that keeps it separated, which is cool. But I still have to like pull it apart. I only used one and a half of these. 
So I'm on my second bundle. When I'm done with my head, it's going to look so good. And honestly, like you don't even see the braids. I really stopped like caring about how neat the braids were and the parts because you can't see it. I'm adding a lot of hair. I still got all this to do. I'm going to braid these two sections with individuals. The back section, I'm going to crochet some box braids and dip the ends to make them curly. And I'll show you how I do that. For the back section, y'all, I just corn rolled straight across. I didn't connect these. I just parted across and went different directions for each braid. Braided it all the way down. I'm about to start crocheting in the back. This is what the crochet braids look like. No, um, you know, human hair pieces in this, but I'm going to put some rollers on the end. They're gonna be curly and they're gonna blend and they're gonna look good. So watch me work. I am taking my crochet needle through that braid, um, putting the needle through the loop and then grabbing the other end and pulling it through. I hope that makes sense. So I'm gonna just let y'all watch me uh, this takes no time at all. This is a lifesaver. So if you don't want to do all individuals, I highly recommend doing this. These braids are from Amazon. Everything will be linked in my description box and in my Amazon storefront. I love this technique because it allows me to add more braids than I would be able to have if I just did the individuals. My hair is fine, y'all. These braids are thin, so I really loaded up the human hair in the front. That's why I wasn't pressed about having human hair on these back braids. Plus, it makes it easier to maintain because I don't have those pieces rubbing on the back of my neck or on my back. And this is what it looks like. y'all so now it's the next day and it's time to put the finishing touches on this look so i just separate the human hair away i clip it up and i detangle the ends of my braids and i braid it down in about six sections i put a perm rod on the end and i get ready to dip this in boiling hot water y'all this just seals the ends it makes sure all the hair is nice and soft it doesn't unravel and it also gives me this like wavy texture i wanted curls initially at the end they came out a little too tight so i did end up dipping it again off camera without the perm rods and without the braids just to make sure that i got like a looser texture but i love it y'all i love how it came out so when you're doing this just be really careful like make sure this water does not splash on you make sure you have a towel right on your lap or on your shoulder take your time with this get to move me you got that real life glow as the world starts to slow you're like something amazing i seen once in the movie i really like your speech and i'm really digging your style your frame is so petite and yet your hips are so wide you're like a work of art we got that spark when we smile so How's about we go ahead and give us a track? You're so dope, so bad. girl, you fly. So girl, you like coke, girl, take me high. So I don't wanna come down, don't wanna come down. Don't wanna detox with you. You're so dope, girl, you fly. So girl, you like coke, girl, take me high. So I don't wanna come down, don't wanna come down. Don't wanna detox. I wanna get you naked laying next to you The way you're moving makes me weak Swing them hips like you're walking on the wrong way Swing them hips like you're walking on the wrong way 
Swing them hips like you walking on the runway. Swing them hips like you walking on the runway. <laughs> Swing them hips like you walking on the runway. Trying to show you love six ways from Sunday, Monday to Monday. You went to HU, but only love dudes in the school of gunplay. Huh. Not the rapper. You stay the capper, upgraded to a trapper. Slight petite, dark skin, sweet, looking like chocolate. Break it out the rapper. No pressure, I just thought that I would mention. Every nigga paying you attention. Kill. Even the women, if they don't love you, they ain't the competition. Or the lack thereof, pure confidence. And you back that dub, uh, disregard all that trash talk. You get them like you living on the catwalk. Now, swing them hips like you walking on the runway. Swing them hips like you walking on the runway. Swing them hips like you walking on the runway. Swing them hips like you walking on the runway. I wanna see you sir, sir, sir. Move yourself, sir, sir, sir. Move yourself. I wanna see you sir, sir, sir. Move yourself, sir, sir, sir. Move. I know you got options. Everywhere you go, you got a million eyes watching Shining like a diamond, girl, you timeless But don't got time for a nigga that's clocking You swerve in the car you bought Gains in the gym, you don't count no loss You too happy building, too happy living Your dreams to allow a romance to kill them Never tripping, unless it's business First sight of drama, you were gonna with the quickness Yeah, I get it Instead of catching feelings, you feeling indifferent Uh, love miss independent You don't need a nigga, but you love the friendship The problem when he try to get your pants off So you step like you living on the catwalk Swing them hips like you walking on the runway